The idea from Christianity that we need a savior who stands in for our sins is psychologically damaging. It preys on the human experience that we all suffer and that we all want to stop suffering. When we're newborns, our suffering comes from being hungry, having a dirty diaper, or being too cold, for example. And we absolutely need another person, our parent, our savior, to fix it for us. Then we grow up and know how to use our arms and legs and mouths to get what we want. But we still suffer because that's the human condition. Because of this, many of us continue to believe we need a savior. We look for it in a romantic relationship or in our spiritual life. Abusers and organized religion prey on this, stepping in to agree with our wounded child and our natural human desire to make connections. Yes, absolutely, you need someone to save you and the safety of the herd. Here, let me provide it. That's the way they get you. As long as we're alive, bad things will happen and we will need to navigate them. So they exploit you when you're at your weakest. But we don't have to continue being exploited. We can instead build enough trust in ourselves to realize a universal truth. The only person who can alleviate your suffering is yourself. You can use your community to support you, and should, but you're ultimately responsible for the holes in your heart. No one can save you except for yourself. You find meaning in life by figuring out how. Just keep swimming.